Hello everyone, it's my channel, it's Nate with Doing Reading for Science Scorpio, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Scorpio. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. I repeat that, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. you also find much other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot, my oracle cards on there, a bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. You should definitely go check that out. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like to join the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Scorpio, let's see what Spirit has in store for yourself. Okay. Number 11 with Excalibur. Action, truth, sovereignty, power. Number 5 with the White Spring. Protection, healing, energy, gratitude. Number 10 with the Other World. Rebirth, journey, the ethereal, everlasting. Number 27 with the Lady of Shallot. Illusion, victim, love, idealism. Number 29 with Sarah Duin. Transformation, rebirth, inspiration, creativity. Scorpio, you are connecting with the other worlds here, you're connecting with the spiritual realm. And it feels like there's a rebirth happening for you, but it feels like you're getting your power back. Alright? You're getting your own personal spiritual power back, and that is the rebirth that is happening for you. You're also being protected there. Alright, but let's read more about your cards here. It says, seek the waters of the underworld with miraculous essence and healing magic. Free yourself of old attachments that no longer serve you. It's a time of endings to let go of the old and make room for the new. Embrace your desires and allow your heart to lead the way. But first you must cleanse the old. Be renewed and acknowledged with the possibility of change so that you can become the person you've always wanted to be. Excuse me, I keep burping. The White Spring card represents purity, cleansing, healing, higher consciousness, well-being, and clarity. The waters of the White Spring emerge from the limestone cave entrance under the tour and meet those with those of the Red Spring as they both flow down to the valley, valley below. Together, they are the sacred union of the masculine and feminine, filled with the energy of the ley lines that run beneath the land. The card asks that you tune into your emotional state. Are you in touch with your emotions? It may well be that you are avoiding dealing with the past and present emotional wounds that need healing. To begin the healing process, bring love into all that you do. Eat healthy food, rest your body, move your own rhythm. Love those around you and do the things that lift your spirits. Learn to feel your energy and direct it with, to your healing areas. The White Spring invites you to bathe in its calcium-rich healing waters and ask that you release all emotions and need to be released from this lifetime and past ones. The cleansing waters will grant you the sight to look beyond who you are and what you are feeling to who you can become. See the glimpse of a new opportunities. Allow the water sprites to welcome you to their favorite meeting place where they drink from the water spring. Watch how they magically shapeshift. Let their transformative powers inspire you to be healed and changed into the new you. And it says, I'm ready to create something new. It says, you are called to enter the realms beholding magical and unbelievable things of light and dark. You're being offered the opportunities to stretch, expand, and make significant changes in your life. Be patient. Do not rush this process. To be birth, one must wait patiently in the womb of the, during the gestation period. So you must wait for the perfect moment when magical intervention arrives to accompany you on your new lease of life. It says, Avalon contains a gateway to Anwin, the other world. Its dimensional portals were once accessed through the na nature gateways to the worlds of the light. The other world brings you the magic of Avalon, which exists alongside the normal world. The energy from this other world is that you can access when you are ready to take a leap of faith. The time for this is about to manifest. Be ready. 
You're about to experience or may already be experiencing an epiphany in your life. You may no longer want what you once thought you wanted. You're in the midst of a change and not knowing what to do next may be feeling overwhelming. The card of the other world asks you to allow the goddess of Avalon to offer support and show you the way. As once the Avalonian guides aided to those who came to the shores of the other world, this is not a time to rush into a decision or life path. No matter how much you are attempting to do so, watch for the signs of magical intervention, of coincidence, of special people arriving in your life that connect you with the right contacts. Take note of your dreams. Your perspective on your life goals may be shifted entirely. You may experience life-changing insights from this point onward. But be aware at all times, the card of the other world asks that you remove the illusion of not feeling supported by spirit. Ask your guides of the upper realms of light to help you in these difficult times. Sometimes big changes need to shake us up so that we can be transformed and arrive at the next leg of our journey, ready for a drop of all win, of wisdom, knowledge, and inspiration. The other world was once a paradise where the dead waited for rebirth. You know when the time is right for you to be renewed, relaunched, and rebirthed. The time is coming. Wait patiently and prepare. It says, I make purposeful choices. The magical sword of truth forged by pure spirits and soul weaponry of wise ones is offered to you. It says you may use the sword of Excalibur to be able to build, eh, build new dreams or destroy old ties and loyalties. Use the energy of the card of Excalibur to motivate yourself to set future plans and motions. You have the strength, courage, and drive to achieve your goals. Take inspired actions. Meet Excalibur, King Arthur's legendary sword. Forged in Avalon by magical elven smiths and given to him by the Lady of a Lake to honor him as a protector of Britain, the unbreakable sword and scabbard of invulnerability protected Arthur from being mortally wounded. The Excalibur card is presented to you because you are being called to action. Have you been feeling passive? Has it made you impatient and feeling disempowered? Are you ready to fight for what you believe and take action? You may have felt that you didn't have the skills and inner strength to take up the sword. If the cards adjust otherwise, you may then take an active leadership role in creating changes in your life that are aligned with your ethics, values, and personal Camelot. The card is asking you to set things in motion and not simply respond to things in other people around you. Once you have decided to take action, claim your right to speak the truth and live your life by your own integrity and rules. When the Excalibur sh card shows up, it is a confirmation that you're more than good enough for the task you wish to accomplish. You have courage, willpower, and pureness of heart to make necessary changes that would bring about great things to you and to those around you who benefit from your actions. The Lady of the Lake entrusts you with the Sword of Truth to accomplish those things that must be fought for. However, be aware that you may need to cut ties with your old life and leave people, things, and places behind. There will always be casualties in any battle, but the effort will be worth it. And it says, I build new dreams. There's a big thing here in, like, release cutting ties so that you can move on to the new so that you can be rebirthed here. Okay. Number 27. Look deeply into thine own eyes and allow yourself to fall into the beauty you see reflected. The illusionary world we create for ourselves reflects back to us the mirror image. Be that the relationship we have, the jobs we work in, the places we live, the friends we have. You're asked to shatter this illusion and crack the mirror, breaking the perceived image of who you should be so a new image can be created. In creating this new image for you, you'll be creating new experiences and a new way of living. The Lady of Shalot lives alone in a tower on the island of Shalot, upstream from Camelot, and because of a curse, she must not look directly out her window. Instead, she must weave pictures of the outside world by looking only at a reflection in a mirror. This card of the Lady of Shalot comes up in your reading when illusions have been shattered or are about to be. Consider whether you have boxed yourself into a role that excludes you from following your true natural instincts. You may be feeling isolated and only see the world and those around you through the mirror of your own perspective. In this story, the Lady of Shalot, Sir Lancelot, appears in the mirror one day and she can't help but look at his handsome features directly out of the window, forgetting about the curse. The mirror cracks. Her life, as she knows it, is over. In an attempt to meet Lancelot, she leaves the tower, 
finds a boat and drifts down the river, singing her last song along the way. When your mirror cracks, when you come out of the safety of your tower and you sail on a boat towards your Camelot, your heart may be in danger of breaking and not achieving the elusive prize. You may not capture the attention of the bravest knight, but you will st you truly start to live the life where you're meant to live. It says, I cherish and respect myself. Surrender yourself to the flow of life. Allow your inner light to shine and connect with your divine spark as your destiny unfolds. Connect with your divine inner knowing and ask what your soul is calling you to be and to do. Take a creative direction and transform yourself and your world into something or someone new. Be confident, express your talent, let your light shine. There is no greater champion of transformation than Saradin. She spent time perfecting her brew in the cauldron. It gives gifts of knowledge, wisdom, and inspiration to those who seek it. It is known by the ancient Celts as... Alwyn. Sometimes we are given gifts from our psyche, unexpectedly, as was the servant boy Gwyan, when he lit three drops from the cauldron of Saradwin. When it comes to us by chance, we must be ready to accept it, and the only way we can do this is to transform, to be reborn into someone new, so that we can truly live out these gifts. You encounter this card of Saradin when you are about to take a creative direction. When you finally decide it's time to take up art, join a choir, create crafts, a dress, a quilt, write a novel or a book of a poetry you've always wanted to do, an exterior or an interior design course, get a master's degree in fairy tale studies. The possibilities are endless. Saradin gives you the courage to follow through the deal you made yourself. It says, do you run away from something that's calling you from deep within? Do you stay in a job, a relationship, or a situation that is not serving you? And it is not your greatest calling. When Gwyan, the servant boy, ran, the goddess Saradin followed. When he changed in shape, she, so should he act. So did she. Until he turned into a grain. And as the hen, she ate him up. Creativity, wisdom, inspiration, and simply a new way of being and living will find you no matter how much you try to disguise yourself. Now is the time for your transformation. It says, I'm opening to stepping into the unknown. Alright, and you, you see, you're like, you're letting go. Alright, transformation is happening here. Especially with the full moon and all that sort of stuff. And you're going off into the new. Alright, you're being given back your spiritual power as well. And you're going off into the new, the unknown. So let's get some rings and trumps for yourself. So you have Aries. So you can have those placements or one around you. You have this moon beetle which you're connecting to. So you're connecting with the moon here, Scorpio, the stars, the night, the beetle. You have the sun beetle, it's both the sun and the moon you're connecting with. You have this dragon which you're connected to. Dragon be Chinese, so excited. Of the dragon, dragon be power, strength, good luck, prosperity, supernatural powers. You have so often the rainbow on it, rainbow being ascension. You have this moth which you're connecting to, the moth is also connected to the moon. Moth is spiritual initiation and transformation. Awakening of psychic gifts and abilities. We have this green man which you're connecting to. We have justice. We have things flowing for you more. Here's Scorpio. We have things opening for you. Oh, hey, look at that. There's love, which can lead to that of like a commitment or marriage or something long term there. So, that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. I also, go to my Etsy shop, go in there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.